What is going on? It is Nate the Game Guy. Um, today I figured I would kick things off with a relatively interesting video subject and talk about a game franchise that has definitely meant a lot to me over the years that I've had a lot of positive experiences with, had a lot of fun, um, all that good stuff, right? And talk a little bit about the Hyper Dimension Neptunia franchise, right? Um, it has been uh, a great overall experience being a part of the fan base, being a part of the franchise. And while I definitely have a lot of great memories with Hyperdimension Neptunia, I also have a lot of bad experiences as well. I believe there's definitely been some games that should have never been made, never been released. So with that being said, I think we should take a closer look. Alright, so before I kick this video's main subject off, I just want to give a few comments and a few disclaimers first, right? Um, these are my own opinions, right? Um, we're people, right? So if you happen to agree or disagree, um, I would love to read what's on your mind um, down in the comment section down below. Um, you know, I just would like to see what's on everybody's mind, right? Um, and if for whatever reason you happen to like this video, please be sure to give it a like. Definitely helps boost it in the YouTube algorithm. And definitely please subscribe because um, definitely want to grow the channel. But if for whatever reason you're a Neptunia fan and you are checking out this channel for the first time, just want to let you know that um, I'm not a Neptunia channel, right? Um, I love Neptunia. I like a lot of the Neptunia games. Games. You know, I have own a lot of Neptunia memorabilia and uh, products, but um, this isn't a Neptunia channel. Um, I'm definitely a game collector and a gamer that just happens to love Neptunia. So that's why I'm doing this video, right? Um, but enough rambling. Let's jump into this video's main subject. So the first game I want to talk about on the list is Mega Tag Mention blonde and neptune versus zombies this game i remember when it came out i was not impressed by it i personally did not like it i personally don't know if i would ever go back to replay it to be honest i've never even finished it i don't even think i've even put at least two hours into the game um i like the gameplay the gameplay follows the exact same gameplay formula as Action Unleashed, which that was a Neptunia game I enjoyed. Um, I liked the gameplay. It didn't felt like too repetitive, even though it shared like that Dynasty Warriors gameplay mechanic. The story wasn't like an award-winning story, obviously, but it worked for what it was. With Mega Tag Mention, on the other hand, it's not the gameplay that I've got problems with. What I've got problems with is just basically the overall theme and concept of the game. To me, I felt like the game was trying to cash in on that anime girl high school theme aesthetic with zombies in it. It just kind of felt like it was trying to attach itself to something like high school of the dead or whatever right one of those animes right um i personally did not enjoy what very little i paid attention to of the story sure it had some of the neptunia humor which is always a plus um but i just did not like the theme of the story or just the background of the game in my opinion, it's a very forgettable game in the series. It's a very uh, mediocre at best game in the series. And the reason why I'm including this game on the list, in my opinion, of some of the worst Neptunia entries in the entire franchise is, frankly, I just think it's a giant cash grab. It's not memorable. I don't like the story. And that's why I'm putting it on the list. Moving on, the next entry I want to talk about is Mega Dimension Neptunia V2R. 
With that title, it is actually a remake of Neptunia V2, which in my opinion is easily one of the cream of the crop when it comes to quality Neptunia titles. Um, the story, absolutely phenomenal. I love the game references. I love the overall theme, the background, the changes with its dungeon exploring and its battle system. Everything about Neptunia V2, I love. I think it's a great game. However, when it comes to V2R, on the other hand, in my opinion, that is literally the perfect example of when you take something that was working before and then you put changes into it and you actually end up ruining the experience of the original entry that i believe is the case with v2r now there are a few positives with v2r in my opinion i do think the virtual reality segments are cool where you get to have the player interact with some of the characters um from neptunia like in the room or whatever that i think is a cool concept right i got no complaints about that where I've got complaints is with the changes with its overall gameplay and its battle system. To me, I just felt like it just became very slow. The way how you move your character and the way you uh, go across like the different dungeons and all that, right? It feels very clunky. It feels just not fun at all. It just... It just feels more like a chore, in my opinion, to get through the game rather than to actually enjoy a decent like storyline and all that. So in my opinion, if you're looking for um, to enjoy the same story, but actually have a good experience, I would recommend going with Mega Dimension Neptunia V2, the original. And also, my other complaint with V2R is the change with the battle system. To me, it felt like, you know, the battle system in V2 was already working just fine. It was working perfect. I just think that with V2R, it again felt more clunky. It just did not feel fluid or natural and i didn't even put very many hours into it in fact just like mega tag mentioned i don't even know if i've put in at least two into v2r that's how much i didn't enjoy it um i try to give it a fair shot i just simply couldn't do it and because of those changes that were put into v2r that in my opinion clearly ruined a good game that is why i'm going to be putting v2r in one of the worst neptunia titles all right so moving down on the list is hyper dimension neptunia pp producing perfection this game i easily can say with full confidence when it comes to my personal tastes with the Neptunia franchise, this game is easily the worst I have ever played in the Neptunia franchise. My gripe with producing perfection, in my opinion, it is another quick cash grab, which basically is trying to capitalize off of the Hatsune Miku games and games similar of that genre, right? Basically, the story is about the four goddesses are beginning to lose faith because all the shares are beginning to drop because everybody is more interested in music idols instead of games and video gaming and all that stuff, right? So it's up to you, the player, to basically be the manager for Neptune, Blonde, Noir, for, and you're basically being their music manager and you have to make sure that they have a successful career, they don't get overworked, they put in a good amount of work. It's, in my opinion, an extremely unnecessary title. Um, the gameplay, in my opinion, is just simply not there. Um, all it is is just like one day you'll choose to take a break so your goddess doesn't get overworked or basically perform. And when you perform, that's where the majority of the gameplay is with its very limited gameplay in the entire game where essentially what you're doing, in my opinion, is essentially just mashing buttons 
basically just to try to get the crowd wild and to enjoy your performance. It's just not there. There's no gameplay whatsoever. The only positive things that I can even say about producing perfection was some of the humor that was in the game. That's it. In my opinion, if you want to avoid Neptunia games that have a bad story, bad gameplay, granted the gameplay isn't as bad as Superman 64 or whatever, but it's just, the problem is it's just not fun. It's not glitchy or buggy or whatever. It's just not fun in my opinion. So if you want to avoid, like I said, avoid a bad story, a bad concept, an unnecessary idea, and just very mediocre gameplay, I would definitely say avoid producing perfection at all costs. The next game that I want to talk about on my list is Cyber Dimension Neptunia 4 Goddesses Online. With this game, um, no issues with the gameplay. I actually do enjoy the gameplay. Uh, for what it is. I personally like its dungeon exploration uh, elements. I like its battle mechanics. I've got no issue with gameplay. Just like Mega Tag mentioned, on the other hand, um, it's the story, in my opinion, is kind of what ruins it for me. Um, this is actually a game, despite me not being in love with it, it was a game that I actually did 100% back in the day got all the trophies for it on uh, PlayStation. And while in my opinion, this is definitely not the worst game in the series, I would definitely say it is in that basket of bad quality titles when it comes to the Neptunia franchise. Basically what the story is about, it's basically themed off of the MMO for Goddesses Online that you would see Vert play in some of the previous Neptunia entries. This time it's actually a legitimate MMO that the goddesses and their CPU candidates and friends are actually playing and being a part of. As you progress through the story, and of course I should mention there are spoilers ahead, you, unfortunately, have to save the world and game industry within playing this game. And to me, I just think that is just an absolutely stupid concept. I just, unfortunately, I cannot find any entertainment out of that. And while there are some of the Neptunia jokes in there, I will say one joke in there that I can remember at the top of my head that I didn't even find remotely funny at all was when the goddesses were embarrassed at one point because it was like, oh, you can see their panties and whatever uh, in the game or whatever. It's just like, really? That's, in my opinion, forced fan service. And I have no issues with fan service. I'll admit I do enjoy a little bit of some fan service myself, but I don't go out of my way to play a game or watch a show simply because of fan service. And to me, I felt like that type of fan service was very poorly executed. Like I said, did not enjoy the story. In my opinion, it's another very forgettable Neptunia game. And for those reasons, that's why I'm putting Four Goddesses Online in the list of the worst Neptunia games in the franchise. All right, and I think I'm gonna wrap this video off with one more Neptunia game, which is Super Dimension Neptune versus Sega Hard Girls. This game, I would actually be willing to argue, is probably the least worst out of all the games that I've mentioned so far on this list. But the reason why I'm putting this game on the list is because out of all the Neptunia games, I would say this one has the worst replay value. And what I mean by the worst replay value, sure you could argue a game such as Producing Perfection has the worst replay value. And I wouldn't argue against that logic, but the reason why I'm putting Super Dimension Neptune versus Sega Hard Girls in the worst games of the Neptunia franchise and also saying that it has some of the worst replay value is because to me it felt like it was just a game that would just constantly repeat itself over and over and over again. So more spoilers ahead, 
eventually at some point you fight uh, the time eater, right? And based on how well prepared you are to fight the time eater, if you lose, basically you're resent to essentially back to the beginning where you're trying to level yourself up. If there are any details that I'm forgetting, just keep in mind, it's been quite a while since I've played the game and I personally don't really see much of an incentive for me to go back and play Sega Hard Girls. But in my opinion, this has to be easily some of the worst replay value like in the series to me, right? Um, one of my biggest gripes with the Neptunia series is the fact of copying and pasting like dungeons and then just renaming them to have different names and then you're just spreading them across multiple Neptunia titles, right? That problem still persists with this, but what makes it worse is not only do I have to basically suck up some of these copy and paste elements but also just the fact with the poor replayability of oh i wasn't strong enough now i gotta go back and redo all these things all over again to hopefully be strong enough to fight the time eater right i think it overall the game is a very cool concept obviously you've got neptunia and then sega's own equivalent of the console themed anime girl series or whatever you want to call it which is sega hard girls and then you're basically putting them together with neptunia very cool concept i just wish that the game was just more better executed and i just wish that you know it was just a little bit more enjoyable not a horrible game i can still see why somebody enjoys it but for replayability reasons in my opinion that's why i'm going to be putting super dimension neptune versus sega hard girls on the worst list of neptunia titles all right and that will conclude my list for the worst neptunia games in the franchise i'm sure some of you are probably wondering how come i didn't put um the original neptunia game uh in this video as crazy as it may sound i actually enjoy the original neptunia game i don't think it's nearly as bad as what everybody says it is um i can understand why uh people don't like it I will admit, I didn't like the game when it first came out and when I was playing it. Like, it wasn't until like two hours in that I actually was like, okay, you know what? I actually enjoy this game, right? Um, believe it or not, if anybody's ever played a game called Trinity Universe, um, that game actually shares the exact same gameplay formula and everything as the original Neptunia game. And believe it or not, it actually had somewhat decent reviews in Japan, the original Neptunia game. Um, two other games I wanted to include in the list that I just simply did not play were Neptunia Reverse and Neptunia Virtual Stars. Um, Neptunia Reverse I didn't play. In my opinion, it just uh, is just really just the Skyrim treatment, if you want to call it that. And that's really why I would have put it in the worst list, but I haven't played it, so I didn't put it in there. And Virtual Stars. Um, uh, I've never played it. I own it and I've looked at the gameplay. I've heard a little bit of this, about the story and I have no desire of ever popping that game in into my console and playing it. Um, so that is my list for the worst Neptunia games. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Feel free to comment in the comment section down below. Um, I will be looking forward to hearing everybody's comments. Please be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content for videos just like this, along with other game collecting topics and other gaming related content. And I hope to see you guys into the near future.